Should we laugh as we enter? Ah. Metaba. 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 One, two, three. Bees and hoodies. Bees and hoodies. Bees And I have a mission for you, Alexa. I don't have a choice. Yeah, this so drugs after open. Alright, let's see what we got here. Thinking back to early childhood, what was your first experience with music? What song do you remember most as a child? Uh, easy question. 1986, Michael Jackson, Bad, driving in my mother's car. And how old were you? Uh, about three or four years old, and then I saw the music video, and that changed my life. Next! It is for me, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, we see a lot of clues about the past in your songs. If we give you a chance to go back in time, which place or time would you go back to? Well, uh, no. If I had to go back in time, it would probably be to uh, the year that Huey Lewis and the News released Back in Time, which, which was, was also the year that Back to the Future was released. 1985? That would be correct. For you? What year would I go back to? Easy. Uh, 1967, when Hendrix moved to London and the Cream were uh, re releasing Disraeli Gears and they played together. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That you? would be cool too. Personally, uh, in, in my life, I'd choose 90s, but uh, if you think of all history, maybe yeah, 60s, late 60s, Beatles. Okay. Yeah. I, mean, I quite like to just go back in time and just sort of write all the songs that hadn't been written yet. Oh. And just get all the credit for them. Mm. It's a Gabriel. Yeah. Can you uh, tell us a uh, time you wish you go back? Yeah, in my own lifetime. Yeah, this is your own <laughs> life. You this is easy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I really like being 19. Yeah. Yeah, I just get, I just like being, being 19. Being 19 was fun. So yeah. Yeah. Look yeah. about that. Yeah. Being 19. Yeah. Good festival. That's it. I'm so we have, we have another question. Next question. If you were a superhero, like I'm not, what would be your superpowers and your superhero name? That, I think that's for you. Right. Oh yeah, Mr. Hoodman, like Hoodman. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I'll cover everyone. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. But what's the superpower? And then covering everyone. Uh, covering everyone in hoodies. To yeah. armor everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe I will wish that I have the power to uh, paint everywhere. Just using my hands. Uh, and like shooting paint. Oh, uh, yeah. And you know, like change all the all that darkness and all the unpleasant and ugly stuff. And just try to. Uh, write good things or paint, you know, like nice things. You know, like everyone would call me like, hey Murat, come and, you know, like destroy here with your paintings. Yeah. I like it. That'd be cool. That's beautiful, yeah. man. What yeah. about you? Uh, I don't know, man. I'd, if I, I'd probably just... I got it'd one. Be, it'd be nice to fly. Yeah. <laughs> I got one. One I really love to have. Like, car horns. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just have the power to just like, Shut those bastards up. Oh, yeah. Take your fingers, all the car horns. Stop. That'd be pretty nice. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Any, 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 any noise that you're not a fan of. I, lo I love the way they do it though sometimes, you know, it's just like, they just keep pushing the button, we were talking about this today, and it's just like, he said something really nice, it's just like, yeah, if you keep pushing that button, your car will start flying above <laughs> the uh, other car, <laughs> push it enough. Yeah, if you just push enough times, oh, the, the, car, the car will grow wings the and... The silent <laughs> levitator. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, That's Mr. Gibson, uh, no. Yeah. Won't you be a, won't you want to be a superhero? Uh... 
Not really, no. Okay. If I could fly, that would be enough. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, flying is yeah, yeah. Flying is awesome, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got wait, two, wait, wait, you no, 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 these, these both, we already, we already talked about them. Okay. Oh. Can you share, or could you share, your own experience on the music scene in Istanbul and Turkey in general? Uh, well, why don't we start with uh, Gabriel? It's a really big question. It's, just, it's almost as big as, like, what kind of music do you like? <laughs> the music scene in Turkey in general, Istanbul, like, it's changed a lot in the last, what, 10 years? Uh, last few years, it's just totally fucking exploded, and there are loads and loads of bands, but there, there have been loads of really good bands in the underground scene in Turkey, but like, you know, it's the underground, it's the post-Napster environment, they don't get signed, they come, they go, and the lucky people go and get to see them, and uh, enjoy them, and it's really hard to explain. But your personal experience. That was it. I mean, like, there, there were just like loads of, re loads of really good bands in Istanbul. <clears throat> yeah. Coming and going. Um, as, a, as, a, as a musician? Well, I mean, you know, Necropsy was, is, is basically maybe my favorite band of all time. And they happen to be Turkish. They're really good. And there are others. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, Istanbul and Turkey has a great music scene. What can I say? There's all sorts of genres. The underground scene's awesome. Uh, the mainstream scene, not so good. But the underground scene's great. Yeah. What about for you? Um, yeah. Ed. I'm a rat. You're not. Yeah. You know my ideas. <laughs> what are your ideas? I don't, I don't want to talk about the music scene. I think the music scene in Turkey and in Istanbul is very healthy. Uh, I think that there are more people than ever uh, participating in this sort of thing. And I, I've only been here six years, so I can't quite say. But uh, it seems very healthy to me. And uh, there's always somebody more than one somebody, many somebodies, uh, to listen to and find out about. And uh, it's an exciting place to play and uh, play with other people. Yeah, in that, in that sense, you know, that there are really good bands, there are really friendly people and people who are interested in music, especially in the underground scene. And uh, I just hope that these groups like, gather together and, you know, like, Power. That's, well, a, that's a really good point actually, there's something that um, Turkey does well, I guess, like musically, is that, um, the collective thing. Yeah. I, I guess it's a cultural thing that comes very naturally in Turkey for uh, groups to collectivize. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a very western phenomenon, but no. in Turkey it's very common and it really helps in like people get make themselves stronger yeah. with their other groups yeah. and this whole networking um, thing, it just comes very much much more naturally. Yeah. It's um, less competitive yeah. and more collaborative. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, 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 and nobody seems to be uh, threatened by collaboration here. Mm -hmm. Only augmented. It's very competitive in the West. Yeah. Like, you know, you have a band and then you play with another band and it's just like, oh, we're going to be better than you. <laughs> well, in a lot of places, I mean, uh, just thinking about big cities, you know, like, uh, yeah, it's, it's like that. Here, here it's a little bit different. Top? Yes. Uh, yeah, the underground scene, the independent scene is, is really good. Uh, collaborative would be a good way to describe it. And it's very open. Uh, I like it. It's good. You can do almost anything. What about mainstream music? It's garbage. <laughs> what about mainstream music? It's complete garbage. Uh, not a big fan. What about Turkish it? mainstream or, or kind of? Yeah, Turkish mainstream. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Well, it's, it's mainstream music. It's Warren Gedgeby, good. Murat Bose, garbage. Barış Manço, rock. Probably nice guy. Though.